Crystal from Nova Game Beauty and welcome back to my channel. Closer, closer, closer. A little closer, closer from the last one. Outside and I decided that I want to film um, my favorite summer makeup look. Um, I love summer makeup because I feel like you can be, uh, you can, like less is more. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you agree with that. Um, and I find like in summer you don't have to do too much. In the summer I find like I really put a lot of emphasis on taking care of my natural skin so that I can do that, you know, summery look. Um, and I, but I also still wanna make sure I look dewy. Um, but today's look, I'm gonna go with something a little bit more neutral. I'm just going over um, to have a family barbecue, so I don't wanna do too much. I've already moisturized my face using my Neutrogena Hydra Boost Moisturizer. I will link that below. But now I'm gonna go in with my Kypris Antioxidant Dew. Um, it's just like a quench and glow serum. Um, I absolutely love, love, love using this because it keeps my makeup, especially if I'm going for a wet makeup look, it keeps it looking really, um, dewy but still like a dry look it's very hot i know those are like two different contrasts but i'm just gonna mix that in i'm gonna switch between putting my cream contours up on top of my makeup and under my makeup depending on the season so i find when i'm putting it when it's usually like spring summer um i like to do my contour first first Then I'm gonna go in with two concealers. I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Concealer in 340 and the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear in 390 Cedar. So I'm using the Fenty one, which is a little bit darker on the outer. I like to use less concealer, I find, in the summer months as well. Like I said, it's just all about less being more. I find that my makeup routine is so much easier in the spring and summertime because I just don't want to do too much, you know? Beauty Blender to kind of buff out the harsh lines for the contour. I just totally realized I forgot to put um, eye primer on. So before I start doing my other concealer, I'm gonna go ahead, I think I gotta take these out because like right now they're just not giving me what they're supposed to give. Well, they are, but they're not making my makeup application much easier right now. Ow. Okay, let's just take those off for a second. There we go, so I can see what I'm doing. Perfect, and before I forget, let me put on my um, eye primer. And per usual, I'm using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Does anybody else um, like to do their makeup outside? Like I find that I absolutely love doing my makeup outside. Whenever I'm in Barbados, um, I would always do my makeup on the veranda. Veranda as in like a balcony or something like that. Just because I feel like you can really see how the makeup's gonna look in natural light. And yeah, while having a ring light is good and all, sometimes nothing beats just good old vitamin D <laughs> usually I'll be out here with like a glass of wine but it's a little bit too early in the day for me to drink a glass of wine right now plus I was drinking um, red sangria all last night it's so crazy when I drink red wine by itself I find that like I get headaches but if I make it into like a sangria where it's kind of like the, the the I guess the red wine is diluted a little bit it's totally fine so I had so many glasses of sangria last night, it was great. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is my eyes. I'm just gonna go in with a very neutral brown, just to highlight that brow. I was thinking of filling in my brows today too, because lately I find in the summer, I do like to like really make sure my brows are super sharp with like an Anastasia pomade or something like that. Even though I have the ombre brow, I find that I kind of want a little bit more definition I definitely noticed like the last couple weeks I've been enjoying using pomades again. Um, and I don't get me wrong, I love my ombres, ombre brows, but sometimes you just want a little 
extra, you know, oomph. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I'm okay with, like, just going without. And then sometimes I find, like, if I'm going more natural in the face, like, in terms of, like, not a lot of, like, not a bunch of colorful eyeshadows, I definitely like to outline my brows so they're, they're super, like, defined. You guys see the difference? That's what it's about. That's the motive of today's video. Less being moi. So, yeah. Now we can go back to finishing my eyeshadow because... Sometimes it's good to just lightly dust that right into the shape. I'm just smudging this in a little bit more because I don't want to see any demarcation when I do go to apply my foundation. Okay. And then I would go with a very, very nude. Let me wipe off my hand because I'm super scared because I'm wearing white today. Um, I would go with a very nude or grayish eyeshadow. So I'm going into my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to use the color called Warm Top. Toupee? Top? How come I don't know how to say that, that word? And then I'm going to use a packing brush and literally just pack that color onto my lid. These two shades combined, perfection. And I'm using the Too Faced bronzer, literally. Anytime I use bronzer, it's the same too. <laughs> uh, this is the Dark Chocolate Longwear Matte Bronzer. Um, I need another one too. I need to buy another one of these. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm actually gonna just continue to blend that line just to make sure it's as seamless of a transition as it could be like that and then once we're done that let's see what else is going on on my face I'm gonna use a little bit I want to highlight the brow do I want to use Primavera and I'm gonna use the same palette that Anastasia Modern Renaissance and I'm going in with this shade Primavera it's like their most shimmery shade so I use a little bit and then I just use my finger to kind of smudge it a bit um, use it again so you can kind of see the difference you see that eye and then this eye so we're gonna go like this like that and smudge it And then, next thing we're gonna do is, um, then I'm also gonna use a little bit of that same shade on the inner corners, just to open up my inner corners a bit. You know, give you that glimmer in your eye that he loves. Well, you already have that, but this just kinda accentuates it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm gonna take this off because it's time to do powder. And I'm gonna put back in my earrings now because this whole video can't be just me without earrings. Like it just cannot. One day I'm gonna time myself to see how long it takes me to do a full makeup look. I actually enjoyed that five minute challenge I did before. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm gonna go in now with um, the same mocha from Fenty and just get that forehead together. Just get it together, get it together. So I'm just blending that into my forehead and my hairline just to make sure we don't have any harsh lines. So cute. And then now we can go in and do powder. It's so crazy how my face already feels like it has foundation on it, and it doesn't. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty um, Pro, Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder. The crazy part, a lot of people are like, oh my God, I can't believe when she when she did this um, launch that she went back to do, using powders because a lot of people like to use um, cream foundations. 
But the crazy part is when she launched this one, I was actually happy because I felt like, well, I actually only always used to use the MAC Studio Fix in, I think the shade was called C6, but they discontinued it. And I remember like, I would have to buy them in bulk. And I think I said this in a few other videos. So I've always been a fan of powders. Like I think they're so nice. And I like that you don't have to worry too much about creasing. Hold on one second guys, I'm outside and someone's doing the walls. Anyway, you don't have to worry too much about creasing or anything like that. Um, so I've always been a fan of powders. This brush isn't dense enough. Let me get my other brush. I was literally using my bronzer brush while I was not paying attention. There we go. So you just kind of use the, pick up some of the product and you literally just dab it into your face. I love powders. Looks so nice. Cause it's like you have something on, but it's not like you can really see it. You can almost finesse people to think that like, you're not even wearing any, you know? Make sure you get underneath your eyes really well. And I don't even mind going right on top of the Anastasia with the um, powder either. It's so odd, I don't mind doing it. Like a lot of people are like, oh my God, but then it's gonna get into your powder. It's gonna get into your brows, but I kinda like the way it looks when it does especially after I put the brow gel on. So I love using this. It's like you don't have to worry too much about where you put it. Now I'm gonna go in with my brow gel. So I'm using my 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. And I'm just gonna get those hairs to lay your head down. Yeah, so perfect. Now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty in Coconati. And I'm gonna use that to bronze my entire face. something super pinky and fun <coughs> bless me is this one pink enough mm -hmm. where is my um it seems like i'm all going you know what i noticed i think i feel like i tend to like to use more of my fenty products in the summer like don't get me wrong her products work all year round but i find i'm always pulling for certain things in the summertime Ooh, maybe I wanna use my NARS Orgasm. Yeah, we're gonna go in with the NARS Orgasm. And I'm gonna use that as my blush to die. We're gonna blush that cheek right up. Orgasm gave me what it was supposed to give, but I want a little bit more pinky. So I'm gonna go in with the MAC and um, blush in Dainty. There you go. Just to brush extra on those cheeks. Perfect, that's exactly what I need to give. Now we can go in with conceal, not concealer. Now we can go in with highlight. Which highlight am I using though? I didn't think about this. You know what I just realized guys, I never put on and it's crazy because I would never forget this, is friggin' um, finishing powder. I'm only gonna put a little bit on and I'm gonna put, oh my God, it's like blowing around out here. This is not a good idea, okay? Bit of concealer that I put on doesn't crease. But isn't that crazy how like you would have never thought? And I only just noticed I didn't put it on when I um, saw it in my makeup tray. So ideally that would go on before my blush, but you guys, you guys understand. So I just want a little bit. I probably don't even have to dust it off um, because I just I only wanted to make sure my inner corners don't crease and that's what tends to crease um, in my concealer, but it should be okay for now. Um, now where were we? Where were we? What are we thinking about? We're thinking about highlighters, right? Highlighters, highlighters. Like, what do I want to give the children to die? What do I want to give? You know? I want to give... Ooh. This could... Let me see. Don't want to give them a little bit of cognac candy? Sorry about that, guys. So my audio actually went out as I was recording. Yes, I know, super annoying. So I'm going to narrate the rest of the video. But I'm going to go in using my Fenty Beauty and Mimosa Sunrise. It's from one of her Kilowatt palettes. I'm going to use the orange shade. But I don't want, I didn't want it to be overbearing. So I only used a little bit, um, as you'll see in the video. 
After I applied the Fenty Beauty Mimosa Sunrise, I went on top of that with the Cognac Candy just to give it a little bit of glitz and glam. Now it's time to get that lip liner going. I used my Sephora lip liner to go in deep brown and lined my lips. Now I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle in Pumpkin Rose. I absolutely love this color for the summer. And then I'm gonna pair that with a Fenty Beauty uh, Gloss Balm in the color Cookie Jar. Then the next thing we're gonna do to finish off the whole look, a lot of people are wondering, okay, miss, you didn't tell us exactly how to keep your summer makeup, yada, yada, yada. Relax, the video's not done yet. And I'm glad that this was the last step, so it made you guys have to watch the whole video before. I tell you. I'm trying to just get the tea and two minutes and you guys try to exit that. Nah. Um, but this is a product that I actually was put on to by another, by a makeup artist. And it's actually what's used keep stage makeup really nice because you know sometimes you're doing four or five six hour shows um so this is what's used with um, on professional movie sets um, stages concerts but it's the ben nye final seal matte makeup sealer um i bought it for like 15 dollars canadian but i could it wasn't at the uh the, not the spicer, but it wasn't at like any uh store that sold makeup i had to buy it from the store that actually sold costumes so the store has a like, costume that you can rent or buy um props um, so that's where I got it, and it is, it comes in clutch, y'all. Yeah, cool. Okay, and then I'm just going to use a little bit of my mascara. I'm always using the same one. It's the Crush Mascara um, by Milk, just to define my lower lash line and to get those lashes to really pop and open up my eyes, you know? And if you want, you can still go on top of that with your um, matte studio fix. I like to because that's what gives that dewy look. I hope my hair does not look crazy with all this wind, but you guys understand. Your girl snatched regardless. But yeah, so anyways, if you haven't already, I'm going to need you to hit that like button and that subscribe button so that you're always aware when I post new videos and content. And until next time, guys, bye.